real deal. Straight talk to help make you a better fisherman. Brought to you by Aesop's Angler Magazine, the real deal on muskies, walleyes, and pike. You know, Mille Lacs is really known for a multitude of different structures. Uh, you know, a lot of rock on, along the shorelines. You've got the big classic mud flats up in the, the uh, northwest side of the lake. But what I'm fishing today is just open water. I'm not fishing any of that structure at all. I'm just fishing out where it's basically a mud bottom. We've got a bug hatch going on today, so the bugs are coming up out of that mud. Probably some bait fish are in there eating them bugs. And of course the walleyes are around the bait fish. But it's a little bit tougher bite because there's so many bait that the walleyes can just eat all day, basically gorge themselves with little perch or other kinds of minnows. So that's a lot of times where crankbaits are really good because a crankbait oftentimes will entice more of a, a striking bite than an eating bite. That crankbait coming by, maybe it's got just the right vibration. You pull it by a thousand fish over here and number 1001 takes and grabs it. The neat thing about uh, uh, the technology for today on electronics is, is that in the past you really didn't know where these mud flats were. The fish still relate to those and every once in a while they move up on those to eat. But when they're not there, they move out into the basin. So I want to show you something on this map. What I'm actually doing is, you know, each of these little lines here is outlining these mud flats. And what I'm doing is actually working along the edges of those. And this little arrow here is my boat position, and I can see exactly where I am. So I'm not running up onto those bars. Uh, you know, especially with my lead core line, I've got that set right down close to the bottom. If I'd run up on those bars, I'd get them all mucked up. So I can use this map to kind of guide myself around the lake, staying off those flats, but keeping out in the mud flats where we're finding the fish. Look at here, boys. Look at here's a here's a 20 foot fish up here suspended like that. And then you can see right next to it. Look at these two big clouds of bait fish. That, that's good stuff. Here's one down on the bottom. You know, that's all good things. We're seeing a lot of activity on the screens. So that means that uh, you know, our crankbaits are running by lots of fish, and that's what you need in open water. Lots of activity gets you lots of fish.